The family identified the victim as 22 year old Colby Tevis and police say that he was fatally shot just before one o'clock Saturday morning. Here's his picture. This happened near Jay and 24th streets in Midtown Sacramento. That's a popular area of town with a lot of businesses, a lot of nightlife. Case Area 3's Andres Valle joins us live and spoke to the family earlier tonight. So Andres, uh, what were they telling you? Well, they told me that Kobe was described to be a fun and loving person. Uh, they said that they came out to Cornerstone Friday night to celebrate his sister's 26th birthday. But sadly, Kobe lost his life in that shooting that night. Nothing's going to bring him back, but we want justice. We want to get the person that did this to him. An emotional evening for the family of Kobe Tevis. The 22 year old shot and killed early Saturday morning near Cornerstone Bar and Grill in Sacramento's Midtown. We waited five hours to get the news that he had, he had passed away. It was it was the most devastating thing. The, the waiting, it's it's hard. Um, we just need some answers. We want some answers. We want justice. Dozens gathered at an Atomas area park Monday evening for a vigil to mourn Kobe. Balloons spelling out his name, loved ones lit candles, sharing stories of who Kobe was to them. But I will never ever forgive you, Kobe. I'll never ever stop speaking about you, brother. Kobe, <laughs> I used to take care of them when they were little kids. I used to take them to school, pick them up. Kobe was always funny. Sometimes he'd be singing this song is why are you asking all these questions why are you asking all these questions assuming but he couldn't even hardly say the words Kobe was a senior at San Jose State University studying communications and set to graduate in the spring his aunt calling him a family man Kobe the greatest nephew you can ever have um, he was a lot like my mom and my my brother they're real personable real friendly real nice Kobe was family oriented he loved the kids now, Sacramento police are still investigating this incident. They have not arrested anybody so far. And they're asking the public's help. If you know anything, to call them. Live here in Midtown, I'm Andres Fiverr for KCRA 3 News. All right, Andres, thank you.